historically, East Liberty had bulldozers coming through and taking out large parts of the neighborhood. So uh, part of our job at East Liberty Development is thinking about how can we repair that neighborhood fabric. So East Liberty Development is a nonprofit organization which works to revitalize the East Liberty neighborhood alongside many neighborhood stakeholders. Over the past five years or so, East Liberty has served as a pilot site for green infrastructure projects. So there's a lot of development going on, which means there's a lot of opportunity to try new and different green projects that might not have been tried in the city before. So we had an idea for a green roof bus shelter, but we had sort of put it aside because we didn't know how it would fit and how to make it happen. So then when we heard about the uh, biodiversity uh, grant opportunity from Sprout, that's when the wheels started turning again and we took up the idea of maybe doing a green roof bus shelter as a demonstration project. So a green roof is essentially plants planted in soil media and that then rests on waterproof liner and then on top of the roof of a building. The benefits of a green roof on a larger scale is going to have impacts on fostering biodiversity, mitigating air pollution, mitigating stormwater runoff. Also there's economic benefits of financial benefits to buildings through energy savings and it, it can even cool the city on a larger scale. On a smaller scale though with our project, this you know eight foot by six foot green roof on top of a bus shelter, the real the real impact that we see with this project is the educational impact that it can have. Most green roofs are high up, you can't see them, but a bus shelter is on the street so you, you can see it, lots of people will see it. And that's one of the things, one of the challenges with um, green roofs is that people aren't familiar with that technology. So um, when water falls onto the roof, whether it's rain or even snow, if it's, if it's going to melt. Um, it will go down a downspout and be collected in a cistern and we have a solar panel on the roof that will power a pump in the cistern to pump water back up to the roof when the plants are dry and if the cistern starts getting full there's um, an overflow spout that will go into a tree pit next door so uh, no water is wasted in the system. Another component of the project is signage on the panels of the shelter so that when these thousands of people that are passing by every day can actually be educated and learn about all the different components on the shelter, learn about the benefits of green roofs, the types of plants that are up there. This project wouldn't have happened if we weren't for Sprout funding. So without the Sprout Fund Spring Program, we absolutely could not have done this project. I mean, without their help, let alone on the side of marketing and helping us get our word out about the project with opportunities of tabling. Ultimately, I mean, without their funding, we could not have had the project happen. You know, we're seeing a rebirth happen in this city, and it's really important to us to continue to consider green infrastructure in our comprehensive plan as we move our city forward. I mean, for every dollar that we put into green infrastructure, we see additional benefits come back. Whereas with traditional infrastructure, we don't see that. For every dollar we put into traditional infrastructure, we're just going to get the benefit of what that infrastructure is supposed to do. I really hope that people see this and get excited about green roofs. I hope that people think about where they could do something green, where they could incorporate green infrastructure in projects that they're working on.